Here we are in the historic Old Mesilla, New Mexico. We're right outside of Las Cruces. This is a beautiful town. There's so much history here. We just can't begin to imagine, can't even begin to start. For example, this is the former courthouse of where Billy the Kid was once tried and convicted. Obviously he escaped, but this has its own uh, presence in American history. Also, Old Mesilla, this is the start of the Gadsden Purchase. When the railroad in the south was coming over here, we needed more land. So the United States uh, purchased more land from Mexico and ended up being from the Gadsden Purchase. This is where the purchase start. It started here, along with the, uh, thanks, to the thanks to the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo that was made possible. There's other historical landmarks here as well. The Albino Catholic Church, uh, other great places here. There's so much beauty in the Mesilleros, the uh, citizens here in Mesilla, New Mexico. They're so proud with their, their history and their culture. And what Fantasma is doing tonight is you've been hearing a lot of stories for a very long time about lovers that have always been here forever. We're talking about Inez and Armando that are still here at the Double Eagle. So what we're going to do is Fantasmas, along with our friends from SPI, Southwestern Paranormal Investigators, we're going to come join us over here. We're going to stay the night. They're going to lock us in. We're going to find out if we can capture some kind of paranormal activity right here at the Double Eagle. Lane's family uh, moved in, started building this huge house. And with a huge house like this, you could tell the family was very uh, into the class thing, very much into the social structure, uh, very much a social climate. Apparently the mother of the family was the one who was the uh, very intent on the social climate. And she had big plans for the oldest son of the family, a teenager named Armando, and intended to marry him off to uh, nobility down in Charles City, uh, maybe in Mexico City. Uh, this was the time of uh, the, the revolution in Mexico. Uh, Emperor Maximilian was on the, the throne of the Emperor, Empire of Mexico. There was a lot of revolution in the north. <coughs> but she had big plans and a big house like this they had a lot of the servants. One of the servants was a little teenage girl named Inez. Well, teenage boy, teenage girl, same roof, they fell in love. Uh, mom finds out about the romance, says, there's no way my son's going to marry May. We have big plans for you. We're going to marry you off to Aristocracy in Chihuahua City, maybe even Mexico City. And we do have to scrape the bottom of the barrel on the social scale, to go to the Americans in Santa Fe, because that's as low as we're going. So she fires on it and sends her from the house and says they cannot see one another. But the teenage boys listen to their mother. Yeah. <laughs> they continue to see one another on the side. And one day mom comes home early, unexpectedly from a trip, and she finds Armando and Inez in Armando's bedroom. And she was so outraged, she grabs her sewing shears and she attacks Inez for seducing her son. Uh, she ends up stabbing Inez to death and in the struggle, she actually stabbed her own son. And he ended up dying in that same room three days later. And so ever since then, the house has been haunted by the two ghosts. Uh, even up until uh, about three months ago, uh, a customer came in and just took one, two, three, four, five photographs of the room and was going to do a little panorama picture and put it all together and discovered in the third picture over, there was a, a figure there in that, that area that shouldn't have been there. And uh, it was in there like the, the third uh, portion of it. The fourth picture caught the full figure and the fifth picture caught a portion of it. So uh, things happen all the time.
will be in the room, three rooms from us, and you'll hear someone from over in this area calling your name. And so you'll start walking this way, you'll come in here, there's no one in here. And you hear from the next room over your name being called. And so uh, this room there was that you screaming in here? Even as after all this time, you still hurt? Oh, 